Okay, the maintenance man has finished. I have napped in. It's time for a new episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So good morning, everybody. Uh, in the last episode, if we can just swing around the bend here a little bit more. Um, yeah, where is it? Can't see it because it's foggy on the ocean. Uh, anyway, uh, we beat this uh, little labyrinth here. We kind of cheated our way through and I walked across. To ah, there it is. I walked across the top. To get to the spot that I knew I needed to be at. Um, just because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but we had some good goodies underneath to, to for our trouble there. For our little cheatsy doodle. Um, but yeah, in this episode we're going to be continuing exploring the Akala region. Um, we landed here after a couple of episodes ago. We, uh, we ended up taking our little divergent path. And getting the... Um, the towers in the Tabantha area, and then an Elden area, and then in the Yala region. But yeah, so, uh, exploration! Yay! Oh, and this is, of course, the tech lab that, uh, Pura told us about would be in this general area. Uh, when she fixed our camera. And I don't think there are any memories. Oh, there is one memory in this general area. That's right, that's right. I'm gonna immediately step into some combat, so I guess we can't montage just yet. Okay. I hear bats. Barricades. Okay. Onward. Oh, rainy. Oh, I gotta make sure. Audio might have been funky up until now. If it was, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little ring of water over here. Oh, it's around a tree. There's probably a core rock at the top of this tree. at the base of this tree. No. Hmm. Interesting. This is a Korok, though.
you ever find these guardians in a pool of water, don't search them. Always tip them because they give you more junk. Searching only ever gives one thing. And I'm pretty sure you can't check them after you flip them. Yeah, you can't search them now. But we got more, so it's good. Let's flip this one over all the way just to be sure. Yeah, see? Can't check them. Here goes our friend in Rawl. It'll be important soon. here at the lake, now that it's not raining anymore. This lake is one of my favorite places in Akala. I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone who plays it really likes it too. Um, you can't really see it from this distance, but it is so pretty, so underused. Like these, the things that are down there are just so underused and we need more of them. And I hope that in, uh, Tears of the Night, Nintendo lets us swim and dive. Oh, this is a blessing train. Okay. I forgot about that, apparently. <laughs> a flame blade? Uh, actually, yeah, hold on one second. Um, drop that. I expect it to go off it. Anyway, <laughs> give that please. Punk? The children are up to mischief. Hi, hello, Gib. down to the lake. You can see him a little bit there before the uh, before the water loaded out, but see there's like these giant flower looking things. And you would think they are flowers, but like if you look, they don't they're these are leaves of some sort of plant. Cause this isn't how flowers work. <laughs> there is one other place that uses this asset, uh, the that I know of. But yeah. All right. So now that it is daytime, we need to should have some wood. Yep. And we now have fancy flame swords. What was I using? The spear. I was using the spear. Look. Uh, what's it till night, please? And we should have a friend! Hello, friend! Hmm? Oh. Well, it's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me? My name is Kiltic. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening a monster shop and wanted to see it for yourself. Yes, I'm opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone, but I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Here's my business card. I'm gonna need that card back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, do you... Uh, are you into monsters? I guess they're cool. Uh, how much do you like them? Just a little. I love monsters more than you! I, uh, sorry. I did it again. 
I just love the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I travel around Hyrule in search of rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit next. Kakariko Village or Hateno Village? The Rito Village and Zora's Domain are also good options. Mmm. Suppose I could go all the way to Gerudo Town or Lurlin Village, but Lake Akala is much closer. Ugh! I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself. I just can't just sit around here while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off. I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during nighttime. Fare thee well. Kapoof! He's gone. Ah, uh, Kilton. Ah, uh, the flowers. But no, seriously. Nintendo. I want to swim. I want to dive. I want to do the thing. Oh, gargly for the sail ship. Ship, sail, raft, thing. That. Yep. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, next plan. We are going to try to make it to this locale. It's just such a cool place. once and if it doesn't work then we won't do this. one rank below the silver lionel that we fought the last time. Under the arm. Okay, <laughs> good swing. <laughs> heal that immediately because as it is now if I take any damage oh never mind I thought I was down a heart not down a heart okay just move yeah the trees are a little rough for you huh buddy There goes. Yay! That was not too bad at all. I was concerned for nothing. Yeah! Ooh, but he has mighty Lionel gear. So that. Good stuff. 
good stuff. And we can look at directly. See, that's 20 and 3, and the other one we got was uh, Savage. Okay, so he is a rank down. That's okay. Uh, we are immediately, however, going to switch from this gear, from the old Lionel gear, to probably the royal stuff we have, because I don't want to waste this. Lionel gear is so good and so durable. If I don't have to use it, I don't want to use it, you know? You know. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll slap a skull here, though, so we know for later. And this is Big Hardy Radish, which I did get a picture of. Good stuff. Cool. All the Octoroks are good stuff, and this is good stuff, and I'm sure there's a Korok right here. Yep, there sure is. Good day to be a Link. Noises are making me mad. <laughs> All right. Here's that spring of power everybody was talking about, and there should be here a memory. I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my powers to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? <gasps> Oof. Daddy issues. <laughs> Alright. Well, fortunately, I believe... Actually, no, I don't think. You've done well to find this spring. Offered in Ral's scale, uh, received from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. Okay, so, what's that about? That would be about dragon hunting. And I think we're gonna save that for the next episode. We've done some good getting here, you know, it's not too bad. We know it's here now. There's- oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna just get a scoot over here. Place that here. That way we don't have to come all the way back once we have successfully dragon hunted. And you'll notice this area is quite dangerous if you come through the front like you're supposed to. <laughs> uh, I think, though, that's probably where we're gonna end it. Uh, Dinral is the dragon that we've seen pretty much through our whole walkthrough. You notice he dropped down around here somewhere. I think his usual path is he comes through here, down this valley and you know he comes back up somewhere around here and then later in the day 
he comes down through this zone and goes past the um, zone we can't see up here above Lanayru or up here above uh, Kakariko. There's um, the Lanayru Promenade that we've run through before. Um, but yeah. I think we're gonna call it there for this episode. We've killed a Lionel, we've found a memory, we've done a good bit of ex- not, not a good bit of exploring, but we found some fancy stuff in the area. So, yeah. I think that's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next episode, as soon as I get to the cliff to close up the thing. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Take care. Bye!